Linux is a complete operating system, was released to the world almost more than 20 years ago. And for you to know, it is completely free and open source. And its high degree of compatibility makes it good for everyday use, for many people especially, hackers and penetration testers. Because it is secure, can make you complete anonymous with such tools and configurations. And it is very strong environment to do malicious and hacking activities. And that is mainly because it has many and many open source hacking tools, and especially the mother of all tools, called Terminal. This mother tool is going to be our main use. Okay? What does open source mean? Open source means that the code of the software or operating system can be reviewed, modified or redistributed by anyone. And sometimes, those softwares require donations. Open source itself is an asset to be more secure as we can review the code and make sure that it is secure and no info revealed by the software and operating systems providers. However, if you downloaded an open source software from untrusted websites, it can be harmful and used to hack you. In fact, Linux is an open source kernel, which many of the Linux versions based on. Those versions are called distributions such as Kali Linux, Arch Linux, and much, much more distributions. So all the distributions are based on Linux kernel and each distribution has its name. By the way, Android is one of the Linux distributions. We are going to talk about the distributions in more detail in the next lesson. For now, we know that Linux is a kernel and each distribution is based on that kernel. So maybe you ask, what does the kernel mean? Kernel is the core part of the operating system that is responsible for the interactions between the hardware and software components. So as you see here, here is the CPU, memory and hardwares such as keyboards, mouses and all of kinds of peripherals. And here is the kernel. And here is the applications inside of the operating system. Okay? Good. So we got that the kernel is the brain for the operating system. And it exists in all kinds of operating systems. Now we know what Linux is. Let's review what we learned.